Hey Ahmed, this is Stephen from CMP Auto here in Calgary. And this right here is our 2021 Ram 1500 TRX. First things first, I want to thank you for your interest in this truck. This particular TRX is a one owner vehicle, no accidents, clean Carfax. Uh, it's a level two and it's got uh, just below $23,000 uh, $23, worth of additional options. And what I'll do in this video, I'll give you a brief walk around tour. I'll go over features, condition, um, and uh, hopefully we can come to a deal. So let's get started. So what makes the Ram TRX special? Well, it's a 702 horsepower Hellcat truck. It is, um, you know, designed for Baja. So sand dunes, uh, high speed off-roading, uh, and uh, it has a very imposing body. So factory wide, wide body, uh, completely different uh, front fenders, rear fenders, grill. Um, but yeah, we'll go over it piece by piece. So up front, you have full LED lighting that includes daytime running lamps, LED projector headlamps, turn signals, LED fog lamps down below. Also down below, you have uh, parking sensors along the front bumper. You have a skip plate right here, recovery hooks right there, steel front bumper. And then of course, this exclusive grill. Now, this is uh, a lot wider than what you, what you would find on a standard Ram. It's very imposing. Now, below the Ram logo, you have a camera. That works in conjunction with cameras on each side mirror, as well as the backup camera, creating a 360 camera. Now, as I mentioned, you have a wide body. You can kind of see right here, a normal, a normal Ram 1500 would be about, about there, but this juts out quite a bit. You also get a hood scoop right here with lighting, vents, and of course, a 6.2 supercharged batch and a TRX decal on the top. So under the hood, you have a 6.2 liter supercharged V8, as you see, 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. That's connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission uh, with paddle shifters. This, of course, is a four by four truck. Um, given that it is, it is designed for high-speed off-roading, you have uh, Bilstein shocks, adaptive dampers, you have beadlock 18 by nine inch wheels uh, fitted onto Goodyear Wrangler 35 inch tires. You have, um, you know, a factory, or sorry, you have a higher um, uh, stance or higher ground clearance than a standard ramp as well. You have these plastic fender flares Right, on bulging fenders. You have side steps. Now, first thing I want to bring up in terms of uh, flaws, for whatever reason, the A is missing. Don't know what happened there. Anyway, continuing on, you have LED turn signals integrated into the side mirrors. Side mirrors are also power folding. You have blind spot monitoring, convex here. They're heated and they're auto dimming. You have keyless proximity entry as well system that allows you to keep your key in your pocket at all times, especially when you consider the vehicle, of course, comes with push button start. TRX only comes in one configuration, crew cab, with a five foot seven box. Now up back, you also get the huge bulging fenders. It's pretty neat seeing these in your rearview mirror as you're driving around. TRX badging here. This one has a soft roll up tonneau cover. Exhaust tips, they're black. You have recovery hooks down below as well. Class four hitch receiver and parking sensors along the rear bumper. Your four and seven pin harnesses for your electrical. Down below, you'll also find a spare tire. Backup camera right there, four by four TRX badge right there. Dampen tailgates, again, excuse the mess. Here in Calgary, we have a water shortage at the moment, so I do apologize. Uh, we, well, the whole city, all the car washes have been shut down. So we're kind of hooked. Anyway. Let's take a look at the interior. Start with the back. So this has quite a few uh, extras. Red uh, interior accents. It has the TRX carbon fiber package. 
which adds carbon fiber trim. Um, you have your 19 speaker Harman Kardon uh, 825 watt surround sound audio system. You have perforated leather, of course, as you'd expect. This is a 60-40 split rear bench, revealing storage underneath and grocery hooks on each side. Also, you may have noticed this little thing right here. These recline back. It's a lot easier to, to do it when you're sitting down, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, flat floor, all-weather mats. Below that, you'll find compartments on each side with integrated rulers, tie-downs, and what I love about this is that you can actually pull these out, which means you can use them as beer coolers, if you wish, for, for any beverage, really. Uh, so there's one here, there's one under the floor on that side. Above your head, speakers with the dark chrome grills. You have a panoramic sunroof, also an additional option. And then something else that's neat, you have heated and ventilated rear seats, two USB-Cs, two USB-As, three prong household plug there, slot for your phone, AC vents, cup holders there, cup holders here, extra storage right there. And um, yeah, in addition to, of course, the leather, which I believe is Napa, you have uh, Alcantara inserts here on the armrests, there as well. Keeps you grip, or keeps the, the whole idea is to, to, to make the seat more grippy as you go around turns. And I'll demonstrate these seats are also reclining, just like that. And even when you do that, you still have plenty of room. Up front, quite a lot to unpack. Power driver seat and passenger seat, of course. These are gonna be heated and cooled. Power lumbar support, memory. That's gonna be a button to fold the side mirrors. And let's hop on in. The mileage at the time of this video is 17,911, okay? As I mentioned before, eight-speed automatic, you have paddle shifters. This will be an upshift, that will be a downshift, and then you have your center console shifter. Uh, most Ram 1500s, aside from the TRX and the GT package Sport and Rebel, will come with a rotary shifter here, unless it's a 2500 or a 3500, which comes with a column. But anyway, 1500 alone, usually it's here, and this is all open. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people prefer the console shifter, which this has. Well, TRX exclusively comes with. So in addition to your paddle shifters, you also have a area right there to downshift or upshift. Tiptronic. Steering wheel is leather and Alcantara. Flat bottomed or somewhat flat bottomed. You have carbon fiber there on the doors, on the dash, Alcantara, red stitching everywhere. Uh, dead ahead, straight ahead. Not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but we do have a heads up display because this does have the technology package. You also have a digital rear view mirror, 19 speaker Harman Kardon, as I mentioned. And then you have your big 12 inch screen, as you'd expect in a DT chassis RAM like this. It has um, satellite radio, of course. You have all your controls for your surround camera, which I'll show you what that looks like forward camera with guidance lines that move with the steering wheel and of course your backup camera you have digital controls for your climate control you can use a touch screen or you can use physical buttons on the sides which is very nice then you have factory navigation all this stuff is going to be standard ram 1500 stuff but what isn't standard is the performance pages so as that loads, I'll continue over here. So I have analog gauges on the left and right with a digital display in the center. I have um, uh, obviously a lot of customization there, a lot of information that I can go through. Steering wheel, those are gonna, these controls are gonna be for that. And then you have the adaptive cruise control uh, buttons because this does come with the advanced safety group. That includes adaptive cruise, lane departure, uh, and one other thing that's, that's escaping me at this moment. 
Uh, to the left, I have automatic lights, puddle lamps, and fog lamps, electronic parking brake down there, power pedals, tilt and telescoping wheel, by the way. And then down to the right of the steering wheel, I have uh, my drive modes, which I'll go through. So I have tow mode, snow mode, automatic, custom, mud and sand, rock, Baja, which you have to be in four wheel drive low for. And then you have sports. Uh, below the mode buttons, I have my four wheel drive selector. So I have four wheel drive auto, which is kind of a set and forget it all wheel drive system. Uh, shift on the fly as well. You have four high, four low, and then you have axle lock. So locking rear differential. To the right of that, you have launch control, which is pretty neat, uh, especially in a half ton pickup truck. Uh, it is violent because you have instant torque from that 6.2 supercharged V8. Um, now, getting back to the performance pages, you have a bunch of information that you can go through. Um, Real-time torque figures, current gear, um, a 400 meter uh, timer, so that would be for quarter miles. Uh, reaction time, if you're someone who does quarter miles, that this kind of stuff will be familiar to you. Uh, various timers, zero to 60, all of that. Uh, and then something else that's very useful, all your temperature gauges, auxiliary temperature gauges, coolant, oil temperature, oil pressure, trans, uh, temp transmission temperature, air fuel ratio, intercooler coolant temperature, and then battery voltage, intake, air temperature, boost pressure. You have your G-force meter, you have your real-time dyno. So I'll show you how that works. As I rev the engine, it makes power, right? I'm stationary and I don't wanna rev it too much, but I will give it a few revs with the windows down in a moment. Um, and then of course you have vehicle dynamics, steering angle kind of gives you a breakdown of what's going on. And then you have your drive modes, which as you saw, you have auto automatic and then you have custom along with everything else. And what can you, um, customize well the transmission so this will oh, custom setup there we go so you can adjust uh, the aggressiveness of the transmission and also so how violently it shifts gears um, how long it holds gears for so on and so forth you can turn on or turn off the paddles if you want to disengage those uh, stability control you can choose sport street or rock suspension Adaptive dampers, Sport, Street, and Baja. Baja will be nice and soft, Street will be a middle ground, and Sport will be stiff. And then steering as well. Sport, of course, will be heavier steering. Street will be kind of in the middle, and then rock a little bit lighter. Um, but yeah, so you have all that. And then don't forget, it's still a pickup truck. You have your trailer brake controller located right there. You have um, hill descent control, or rock crawl mode, I should say. So that would be, I believe it's rock crawl mode. But anyway, put that back. To the right of that, you have stability control, which is which is defeatable. And then you have your parking sensors. You can defeat both the front or the rear. And then you have five, or sorry, six auxiliary buttons here. So if you're someone that wants to connect, I don't know, a winch, uh, light bars, a whole bunch of different accessories that you may um, install in this truck, you have the buttons already for it. Below that, you have a wireless charger. You have a software phone, two USB-Cs, two USB-As, auxiliary, some storage there, cup holders here. And then you have your plaque right there, which is pretty neat. Official rating, 702 horsepower, tells you what it is, how's the pin, all that. You open that up, felt lining, so things don't rattle, USB-A, then you open up the whole thing, and it's pretty deep in here. And something that I really enjoy. So the main competitor to the Ram TRX is the Ford Raptor. TRX, T-Rex, big dinosaur. 
Raptor, not so much. It's a small dinosaur. So, in here, you have, if the camera's going to pick it up, ram. There's a person. So, size, this is for, for scale. You have a person. You have a ram 1500 TRX. You have a T Rex, so Ty Tyrannosaurus Rex, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then, down below, you have it chasing a raptor. That's just funny. Uh, you also have a three prong household plug located right there, which is nice. Storage here, storage there, glove box there, glove box below. It's for your wheel locks. And I'll show you one more thing under the hood. Again, forget the dirtiest, but I do want to remove this. Ah, there we go. That's the second Easter egg that I know of. T-Rex with a raptor in its mouth. Pretty neat. Now, let's do a little walk around again for any flaws. Maybe some scuffs right there. Maybe right there as well. Some minor scratches here, nothing that can't be addressed. Yeah. I don't want to touch it too much because there is a lot of dust on here at the moment, and I don't want to scratch any further. But as you'd expect, black paint shows everything. But when it's clean, nothing beats it. Oh, back here, that's definitely a scuff. Yep, this area right here. You can probably that yeah there's some marks on the back there as well yeah I wonder if a good buff would remove some of this stuff and then of course as I mentioned before yeah little scuffs right there the missing a I don't know how that happened Anyway, I think that pretty much sums it up. Thanks for watching. I'm sure there's a lot of information I missed on this, or I failed to mention. Uh, but video is going to end sometime. Anyway, take care. Bye now.